Hey guys, my name is Cody. Welcome to a tutorial, review, product showcase, whatever you want to call this, uh, of a program called Voice Attack. What this program is, what it was designed for was for gamers to be able to do voice commands in game to assist with uh, performing tasks or, or actions. And it really translates well to sim racing, it translates well to flight simulators, it translates well to games like Elite Dangerous, even um, RPG games or MMORPG or, you know, anything like that, Counter-Strike, this would work probably really well for, like, reloading or whatever you need to use it for. But personally, I've, I've loaded it up for iRacing, I have programmed in some of my own commands, and uh, it, it works well. I actually have the free version. I decided to try out the free trial and uh, I think it's enough for me. I will probably buy the full version to support the developer just because it is, it works so well. But uh, let's just, let's load this up here. We've got uh, Voice Attack's website. So they want you to do the free trial. They prefer you do the free trial to make sure it works well with your computer. I think that's great. Uh, you would just download from this link right here. It provides you with an installer and it throws it on your computer. We'll, we'll open up the app here in a minute and take a look at it. Um, it is also on Steam. It's $10 through the website, through Steam. Let's take a look here. It is $11.99. So you gotta pay the little service charge for having it on Steam. But if you prefer to have all of your programs on Steam, it's probably a good way to go. Uh, so system requirements are not too bad. I mean, it works all the way back to Vista. You need 155 megabytes of space and you need to have the um, Windows Translate or something like that. What is it? Uh, speech recognition. You need to have Windows speech recognition, which I believe is built into most OSs depending on the country. So uh, you just need to download the app from the website and uh, yes, they really tout virtual reality, and I agree wholeheartedly. Virtual reality is going to be big in the future. I have an Oculus Rift, and this program changes things. It makes it to where I can do things on the fly while I'm racing at 180 miles an hour on Daytona or whatever I'm doing. And uh, <laughs> it's not easy to mess around with a mouse, especially in VR while you're racing around other people and you don't want to take other people out, you don't want to crash yourself out, this simplifies things. You can't do everything, but you can do a lot of, of the big items. The finer adjustments are not something you're going to be able to do. Um, well, I say that you might be able to if you're pretty clever, but for me it was, I just stuck to the basics. So download the program, uh, install it on your computer, and then this is the application. Let me get it running. All right, thank you for trying voice attack. See, I'm using the free version, so obviously they're doing a little advertising here. And it's listening to me talk. It's obviously not doing the greatest job of picking up my uh, speech, but it does a pretty good job, especially with shorter commands. Let's get into the, the meat and potatoes here. So I have a profile I have set up. Let's bring it over here. So changing all my tires. I have the, it's set up in the uh, iRacing application as the number pad one key. Um, and it's actually one of my auto chat messages I have set up. I will go through a little bit of that and show you guys kind of what that, what that's all about. Um, it's actually in the INI file. Let me open the INI file and we'll be right back. Okay. iRacing INI file. Lots and lots and lots of blah, blah. Here we go. So. You have auto chat messages. These are things that can be set up. Um, you have the standard ones and then you can actually uh, change them to be uh, custom things. Uh, the iRacing website has some really good sections on what different commands are accepted by the iRacing program. If I wanna change my left side tires, this is the command that has to be entered into the chat window. If I wanna clear my entire pit strategy, basically it takes check boxes off the tires, off the fuel, off the fast repair, and off the window tear off. That's the command, right side tires. All of my tires, two gallons of fuel, 10 gallons of fuel. And this one was from a, an RAL race where we were basically a demolition derby. 
This unchecks my fast repair and this gives me a window tear off. So you can actually, there are more than just these. These are the ones that I kind of wanted. I left these alone, um, but I can change them if I want to as well. So in the iRacing uh, application, you can set these commands to be keystrokes. Once you've done that, and we'll look at that here in a little bit. Once you've done that, you can set the spoken command change all tires to trigger the numpad one key press and release and i will show you what this looks like press the number one numpad one key and hold for 0 0.05 seconds and release what that's going to do is that's going to trigger the text chat command that will clear or change all of my tires um, i have several other commands fast repair pit show fuel so your uh, function commands your F1 through F9 I believe that show you the different windows can be set and you just you get to choose what you want to say so clear pit I could change that to say clear the car and whenever I speak that command that's what it's going to show uh, it'll it'll clear the car you do have to do some training of your uh, speech recognition program, but they offer that uh, as an option through speech recognition to do the actual training. So uh, once you've done that once, twice, you know, the more you do it, the better it's going to be. It's a learning program. You will be uh, much better suited for doing the voice commands. It, it really does help a lot. So let's jump over into iRacing and see how everything works we will be right back we are back in the uh we're in the iRacing simulator now in vr and uh let's do a little testing i'll show you guys what this thing will do i apologize uh apparently it did not like me launching iRacing from the icon on the desktop it wanted me to launch it through the uh web which is what i normally do anyway and in addition to that it needed an update of course constant updates on everything i had a windows 10 update that just absolutely took forever so we are in the simulator we have our relative box pulled up what if i want to look at my tires show tires very good how about we uh clear pit all right we've removed our check boxes show fuel cool so we don't have any fuel in how about we uh Add two gallons. I think that's the command. What is it? I need to look. Ah. Ah, that's what it is. This is the only problem with voice attack. And, uh, <laughs> is remembering what your commands are. Fuel two gallons. Yeah, fuel ten gallons. Uh-oh, didn't register that one. Fuel 10 gallons. That's not good. Well, no, see, it did do the fuel too. Fuel 10 gallons. Okay. Clear all pit. Clear pit. Much better. Fuel 10 gallons. There we go. You may not be able to do multiple of those. Fuel 2 gallons. Nope. Can't add more than that. So you're going to have to probably uh, set that ahead of time, I guess. I'm not really sure. I have it 10 and 2. Um, I don't know if there's a way to completely fill the vehicle or not. I, there might be a command. I'd have to go look. But let's uh, show relative again. Show relative. Show standings. Cool. Show timing. Yep. Two minute lap, doing great. Show in-car adjustments. Very good. Show pit adjustments, cool. So then I'd have to get in here with my mouse and mess around my tape, whatever. You see how hard that is? It's These are the commands that I think would be nice to be able to do, but I also, I'm using the free version. You only get 20 commands. You gotta use them wisely. Regardless, though, this is pretty fancy, fancy-smancy stuff. 
I think that's pretty much it. I mean, this is the gist of what the program can do. Uh, it's pretty much customizable from beginning to end on what you want it to do. You just have to have a way to make the item, make the thing happen. So a keystroke, a mouse click, whatever it might be. Um, but it, it's a pretty versatile little program. I highly recommend it. And uh, if you got any questions about voice attack, throw them down in the comments. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more from me more iRacing more whatever let me know i will see you guys next time